Our first reading comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 25, verses 19 through 34. And it's the story of the birth and the beginning of the struggles between Esau and Jacob. These are the descendants of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham became the father of Isaac. Isaac was 40 years old when he married Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel the Aramean, and the sister of Laban the Aramean, from Paddan Aram. Isaac prayed to the Lord for his wife, since she was unable to have children. The Lord was moved by his prayer, and his wife Rebekah became pregnant. But the boys pushed against each other inside of her, and she said, If this is what it's like, why did it happen to me? So she went to ask the Lord, and the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb. Two different peoples will emerge from your body. One people will be stronger than the other. The older will serve the younger. When she reached the end of her pregnancy, she discovered that she had twins. The first came out red all over, clothed with hair, and she named him Esau. Immediately afterwards, his brother came out gripping Esau's heel, and she named him Jacob. Isaac was sixty years old when they were born. When the young men grew up, Esau became an outdoorsman who knew how to hunt, and Jacob became a quiet man who stayed at home. Isaac loved Esau because he enjoyed eating game, but Rebekah loved Jacob. Once, when Jacob was boiling stew, Esau came in from the field hungry and said to Jacob, I'm starving. Let me devour some of this red stuff. That's why his name is Edom. Jacob said, Sell me your birthright today. Esau said, Since I'm going to die anyway, what good is my birthright to me? Jacob said, Give me your word today. And he did. He sold his birthright to Jacob. So Jacob gave Esau bread and lentil stew. Esau ate, drank, got up, and left, showing just how little he thought of his birthright. Our Gospel reading comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 24 through 30, and 36 through 43. The Parable of the Wheat and Weeds Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like someone who planted good seed in his field. While people were sleeping, an enemy came and planted weeds among the wheat and went away. When the stalks sprouted and bore grain, then the wheat also appeared. Sorry, then the weeds also appeared. The servants of the landowner came to him and said, Master, didn't you plant good seed in your field? Then how is it that it has weeds? An enemy has done this, he answered. The servant said to him, Do you want us to go and gather them? But the landowner said, No, because if you gather the weeds, then you'll pull up the wheat along with them. Let both grow side by side until the harvest. And at harvest time, I'll say to the harvesters, First gather the weeds and tie them together in bundles to be burned. But bring the wheat into my barn. Jesus left the crowds and went into the house. His disciples came to him and said, Explain to us the, parallel of the, we the parable of the weeds in the field. Jesus replied, The one who plants the good seed is the human one. The field is the world, and the good seeds are followers of the kingdom. But the weeds are the followers of the evil one. The enemy who planted them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the present age. The harvesters are the angels. Just as people gather weeds and burn them in the fire, so will it be at the end of the present age. The human one will send his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that cause people to fall away, and all people who sin. He will throw them into a burning furnace. People there will be weeping and grinding their teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in their father's kingdom. Those who have ears should hear. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.